I'm not turning off the stream until I die. In real life? No, in, in the game. In the game. Last time I played Last Epoch for the first time ever without following any guides. So I tried to do my own builds and see how far I could get on Hardcore because I'm a Hardcore enjoyer. I decided to use the Acid Flask very early on because I found out that it is actually a very nice skill to use, does AoE damage, is ranged and I really enjoyed it. And then I turned that into Poison Pools which would just last for a couple of seconds and then poison all of the enemies inside of it periodically. Story wise, uh, which I couldn't follow at all <laughs> actually, but uh, I could get as much that we had to pick up this epoch, <laughs> you know, last epoch, uh, and uh, reform that, which would allow us to do time travel. It's in the story we had to go back in time and then reform the last epoch. And I think now we are back to the present or not i don't really know anyways we are now on a quest to kill the unkillable guy or the immortal kingdom which i guess is a bunch of skeletons i can't tell if you are poisoning the enemies or healing them with that damage man they must have very high poison damage okay bro like listen these are skeletons they must have very high resistance to that okay so as i was progressing more through the campaign i noticed that i dealt absolutely no damage at all this was probably because of me not following a guide so i tried to respec and remove the poison pools however i noticed then that removing one point from your ability also delevels it and it's essentially just a damage loss i have no points i literally just lost damage 500 gold? Fuck you. At least it doesn't cost much. 600? Aside from that, as you already seen, I try to respect my points in the passive tree and that cost a lot of money. I don't know why that is so expensive. Need to do some checking out here. Now, obviously I could read a guide, right? I could figure this out with a guide or a Google or a lot of stuff. But I think it's more fun if I test this stuff out myself. And then because it's like learning something new. When you test things out, you learn much better than reading something because you'll forget. But yeah, anyways, my goal was to increase my poison damage, which I ultimately achieved. From a whopping 47 poison damage to a staggering 62. Let's see. Maybe I deal more damage now if I can toss more flasks. I definitely did get more poison damage and hopefully we can spend better skill points in the ability. I mean, it does look... Um, hmm. So yeah, as I said before, I removed the poison pools, which was terrible. Oh my god. I didn't think my damage could be worse, but it actually was. So the poison pools were actually a much better choice when you want to go for poison damage on the acid flask. Um, I'm fucked. I can't kill any of these. Holy, how many do they spawn? This is ridiculous. Holy! What is their poison resistance, man? Holy moly! <laughs> what are you talking about? That wasn't easy at all. Okay, so uh, I guess the poison puddles was a great idea, actually, because this is just 10 times worse, lol. But since I had to relevel my poison flask, I could also put all of the points into poison damage or poison duration. And then maybe a little bit of poison shred. That's the infamous ZDPS build I see. I just wait, brother. You just wait, okay? Right now, my damage might not be okay. I'm almost level 30. We're getting there. By the way, am I supposed to deal this little damage or is it just my build. While leveling, I made sure that I picked up all of the stat items that I would need. For example, this axe right here has increased poison damage and I could then use this axe disenchanted and hopefully get some, I think they are called shards, that I can then use to craft poison damage on the items that I actually want to wear. We can upgrade void resistance again. Damn! Look at that! My resistance are getting... Wow! 63 fire! <laughs> this is what I love about these games. Since I'm not following a guide, I think I said that multiple times now, I also tested out traps, but I noticed pretty quickly that they're actually really bad. Maybe they are better if you don't use poison pools, I don't know, but it feels like they they don't really serve a purpose. So yeah, I was unspecked out of that and then went for the amatoxic pools, which is literally just a more damage, 10% more damage over four seconds. We're going to make this ability work. 100%. I like this ability so much 
it was like basically love on first sight. This is also the time when I started getting into loot filters. And so I wanted to highlight any items that had poison or damage over time effects on them, as well as all resistance, cooldown reduction, and then just make them be drawn in a different color and maybe thicker than every other item. Hey? What happened? What did the loot filter do? It's empty. Huh? <laughs> what did I do wrong? This one has poison damage. Looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. What the dog doing? <laughs> what did I do? I don't know how that bug happened, but I had to restart last epoch and then it was better. It would show me the items, not in a different color, but highlighted. So that was fine enough in a thicker font. Skill-wise, I also added the decoy totem that would help with aggro management because sometimes I really dropped low with my health. My resistances were good, but I guess not that good. So story-wise, how far am I actually? Am I close to maps? Like percentage-wise, 60%, 70%, something like this. Yeah, story-wise, while, you know, the maps looked cool, um, I met this guy, Alistair, I think, and I had to follow him and then get to this Sia woman. For what must happen next. But first, we must get you out of this city. I, I don't follow the story anymore. Blah, blah, blah. What am I supposed to do? You have encountered... Okay, ancient uh, immortal empire found means to mimic their power. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your help. Until we meet again. Passive point. Yes. Which would ultimately, I don't know, send me to some other woman through the sewers in some other town, which... Listen, man, I like this story is... And that should do it. This waypoint's harder than I anticipated. But no worries. All good now. Uh-oh. Just in time. Looks like we've got company. Anyway. <laughs> Look at go. the face. It's like the YouTube thumbnail face, you man. <laughs> Who are you? Don't be alarmed. Oh wow, you look kind of... Wow, you look... You look... Wow, you look disgusting. Holy shit, the what Emperor happened? Wants you dead. That makes us friends. It does, yeah. You're trying to reach the Citadel. I know a path. Okay. Over there. Follow, Follow the, mountains. the mountains. The roads are dangerous. Go. Find me in the necropolis. Can I trust we'll you? Speak. I want to say more, but there are spies everywhere. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Wow, I have 77 mana. Cake 77. I found the perfect ring. All resistance, 28 forging potential, void resistance, and poison damage. This is literally a replacement for this ring. We don't have damage over time. Okay, we need more shards. Awesome. Uh, but I still got a cool ring. Damn, this really reminds me of Diablo 3 now. You guys remember the sewers part in there? Where you have to go through? Yeah, and there were also a bunch of these worms. I ruined my life 10 times over. I think I'll take a break from scouting. Just, Just become like my that. ally. For one, they nearly What do we do apart. now? Also, my knowledge, my knowledge of the of citadel, citadel stops here. Here I was, hoping this would lead. Yeah, us then closer. just come with me, bro. Okay, fine. He doesn't come with me. Dude, we are breathing through this. Nothing is a challenge anymore. <laughs> you made it. Yes, I did. Let's go. Come on. I am Yulia. Yes. Once I was High Priestess of the Empire. Mm hmm. But no longer. Centuries of cruelty will do that. Okay, why did you call me? I need your help. Of course, In I'm the main character. The Citadel, mm -hmm. I've cleared a path, but there are still defenses. You will have to take them out from Sure, there. let's get started. Okay, let's go, bro. Can't wait for Lagon. Who is Lagon? <laughs> Is he, am I close to Lagon? The noob stomper? <laughs> so you mean he's gonna defeat me? Am I tanky enough for him? Like in terms of defenses or do I need more? I don't know how many resistances you wanna get, man. I guess I have to craft this ring. <gasps> did I sell the ring? No, please don't tell me I sold the ring, man. Please. Wait, did I? Did I? <gasps> oh no. Did I sell the ring? I hope he sold it. Ah, fuck you. That's so rude, bro. I sold the ring. I found a really good ring, man. Shops have buyback. Might still be there. <gasps> there it is. Is it? 
No. Nah, I think I sold it. I had a really good ring. It had 28 forging potential, 17 all resistance, and a resistance. Can I help you? Yeah, you can give me back my shit. Oh. Did you shatter it? No, I don't think I did. Still be in the crafting menu? <gasps> yes, it is! It is! Yes, thank you so much! There it is! Yeah! Thank you! Oh, I didn't sell it, you fucking piece of shit, Shade 11. Shut the fuck up! Fuck you! Shatter? Damage over time shot. Hell yeah. Shatter? Damage over time shot. Yeah. Shatter? Damage over time shots. Four. Ooh. Shatter? Fine. Damage over time. Oh, yeah. What happened? Nothing. I had the perfect ring. Fuck! Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Of course, it always happens, man. But yeah, I was sad, but I, you know, I had to get to the new killer, which I think was Lagon. People really got me excited for that. Because I was surprised that I was still alive, man. I went for mostly defense, so my DPS was low. But I think also the base difficulty of the game is not that high. A proper welcome is the least I can do. <laughs> it was a trap because all of the bosses in my opinion were very weak so far they had easy mechanics my damage was never an issue even though it was pretty low i think there was not a single one shot potential if anything it was very telegraphed but there's one thing that really irks me it is too easy to skip cutscenes in last epoch any button you press skips the cutscene it's really annoying whose side are you on Last Epoch full movie. You pathetic human mistake. You think you can kill me? You think you can? Enough! Can't use the lance! The lance of Hero. Where is it? Quickly! You need to get out of here! Now, I think after this cutscene, we are back at the present or something. At least we are back at the conflict from the very beginning. For those of you who have watched part one, um, the fire guys were fighting everyone else. Yeah, I don't know. Cool story, by the way. Oh, wow. They're fighting against each other. They're not actually, they're not only fighting me, but they're fighting themselves as well. The other guys. Lol, who's this guy? Hello? Lol? Are you a friend? Survive the battle between Raya and Harrier. Okay. Lol, this guy's cool. Oh, wait. Lol? Submit. You are no longer worthy. Be gone from this land. Be gone, fiend! My flames will scour this place. Oh, God. So be it then. Come here, meow! Pathetic. <gasps> no! I do not have much longer. Oh. Is that you? No, sorry, the fragment you have. I do not know what you have seen, but please do not let Raya destroy my people. My lance, the only weapon that can harm Raya. Yulia, you can sense. I can sense her. She's coming soon. She and Grail, my champion, will help you. Yulia, really? Go to her. We do not have much time. Okay, I'll go at once. Who are you? Put your weapons down. Oh, relax. Holy shit. Are you Yulia? And who are you? Your mama, bitch. Fuck off. Horia told to find you. Yeah. Did he now? Yes, he did. We have much to discuss. Okay, let's go. Damn, I have to say, this was really cool. The fire boss seems to be OP. Maybe we fight him in the future. But I got from the story that we needed to get the lance, which I guess is a weapon from this awesome reindeer. But in actuality, I was just more eager to fight the noob killer. So I tried to find as many upgrades as I can and get my resistances to the maximum so I don't die. Particularly, I was targeting fire and cold resistance because that is what I had seen so far. I also fixed the filter, by the way. I removed one condition on my first, I guess, rule. And what I was looking for was items that had, you know, the poison stats, as I said before. But then I specified another condition 
condition in that one rule that said well please only show me rings with that stat so that was a mistake and then i also figured out that you have to turn on the text highlight and then it would actually change the color of the items to green which is what i wanted to have when i found some item with poison stats i also extended the filter to look for hp resistances poison damage damage over time cooldown reduction just mostly the things you want or i wanted for my build defensive stuff and offensive stuff at this point since we since i was getting close to the boss my build was coming online i uh, obviously went for the acid flask and tried to max out everything that had to do with poisons the poison pools and literally anything that would increase my poison so for the shurikens i went for the poison chance it also had a poison shred chance which was very nice and then dash i actually went for cooldown reduction less mana and whenever i dash i would add another poison flask to the ground so literally one dash would cast two poison flasks which was really cool and then for the decoy Funnily enough, that one could spawn poison flasks as well. So all in all, I had massive burst potential with a bunch of poison pools if I just time everything right. And that was really fun to play, I have to say. Oh wow, this, this map looks really cool. I love ice, you know. Gothic 3 has one of my favorite ice zones, Nordma. It really gives you the feel that you are in a snowy area. Even more so than Skyrim does. Look at this, 50 poisons, holy moly. You can't even beat me. <laughs> what is that? Lord? Okay, who are you? Lance of Harriet. Take the lance. Awesome. We have the lance. Which means we must return. Okay, on one condition, I need the lance after. The lance was found. And a bond was formed. Do you think we'll see here? Before their fates intertwined. Let's go together. With mine. But for now, they focused on their gods. I know things are grave, but I can't help but feel relieved that Grail's back. You care for Grail? Of course. He is Herot's champion. And my friend. And all okay. that is left is to take the lance and bless it. Let's take our way there. Idol slots. Yeah, you told me that I'm supposed to have all the idle slots. I just got idle slots from this. Okay, bro? You're lying. Yeah, apparently uh, I was following some of those side quests through the campaign, but not every side quest. Apparently I was still missing some slots to be unlocked for the idle slots. Not sure which ones I skipped, but I was too lazy to go back. So I was just gonna go like this. I see you have returned with the lance. Oh, you can speak now? Now it shall bear my final blessing. Oh, I see. He, he, he's not voice acted past that part. Okay. But for the lands to work, we must also find Lagoon and Mayad for the west and south. What? Uh, I will go to them. Fine. Drop each of blood. Okay, I'm ready. Speak with Gary. Oh, well. wow. Do I have cold resistance now? No? I look really Even cool. Even the gods cannot observe what fate intends for us. Do not let it blind Do you. Not okay. let it bind you. We have Herod's blessing. Farewell. And now he's gone. We must move on. Let's there move are on. Other matters. Other gods we'll avenge him. Right. We'll travel Let's go. west towards the sea. The Spirit. god is there. We go travel west. Storms. We go to this. Okay, can I waypoint locked? All right, I'll go here. Travel. Lol, I can travel from any position on the map. I didn't know that. This was the last step. People were continuously talking about Lagon, so I felt like I was very close. So I tried to up my resistances and damage to the maximum. I think I ended up having somewhat of, I think over 120 to 30 poison damage maybe even 140 which considering i started out at 40 was a huge bonus like it's more than twice or three times as much damage as i had in the beginning oh my god it just upgraded without any potential oh my god again <laughs> what one more time 41 percent what Gambling! Holy moly! Look at the resistances I have! What the fuck? Now sell it? No! <laughs> oh my god, this is a gambling machine! Look at this! I got it! It worked again! 
okay. Wow. Damn. Wie sagen wir ja Void, Max? <lacht> Dude. Alright, I should be good. Lagon will one-shot you, it's just about avoiding attacks. Oh, I see. So I can't get the resistances high enough for... Okay. So yeah, at this point, the only objective I had was to literally just rush to Lagon and tell him about Rhea. I wanted to fight that boss. I was really excited. I just love going into bosses blind and just testing my build. It's really fun. These waters are dangerous. I've made my pry. I'm ready. Let's go! The Traveler sets sail eager to make it to the Isle of Storms. The ship is secure. Should reach the pier in no time. The Gon's temple, a beacon of light. Careful. The Gon's not used to visitors. The Isle of Storms, complete with its capricious guard. Fuck, man, I went... Okay, bro, this is so bullshit. So he's lightning and cold. And I'm, I totally went big dick on the fire resistance. Ah, that is some bullshit. Of course, yeah, they have lightning damage. Yeah, of course, yeah, they had lightning damage. Of course, you know, it's typical. I prepare for fire and cold because I have been fighting fire and cold the entire time. Then you do a zone switch and completely switch the resistances on me. So, yeah, I was very weak to lightning, which I think was not good. High stun chance. Mm -hmm. Is this like introducing gameplay mechanics as I'm going there? But before I could go, I had to deal with the temple, which I guess was fine. And then also with this annoying boss because she didn't want me to speak to Lagon. It was more of a time sink than anything. She didn't really deal much damage. What's going on? Why is it? Why is that? What's it? Hey, stop it. Fuck off. You're making the, the boss battle difficult. Again, again, you persist. You don't realize I'm keeping you away from Lagan for a reason. Lagan must not know of Hero's death. The risk of his reaction is bad. No, I must speak with Lagan. I take no pleasure. Your death shall be quick. Great. Of course, she has lightning spells. You talk. What is this? The torpedo? What are you doing? What is this torpedo doing? Go away. What the <laughs> okay. Relax. Yeah, she was continuously using the same mechanics, but nothing really stood out in terms of damage or one-shot potential. It was just dodge the stuff and keep doing damage while she teleports around. Think she's good now. Should be dead. Got it. Okay, first boss down. Hello there. Uh, to, uh, I was trying to protect everyone. You failed, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to kill you. I don't even know why. I don't know why we persist so much in doing this, but that's what the story says. Real boss soon. Okay. Okay. Colosseum, that looks like a boss. All right. Oh, God, look at this area. All the other bosses are 3 out of 10. This one is 9 out of 10. I'm stunned. Okay. That's fine. Ow. Um. Yeah. This is some bullshit. I need to look at this guy, I guess. Bullshit. When do I get a potion? When do I get a new potion? Okay, yeah. Instant bullshit. Uh-huh. I get a potion. Okay, nice. Is that the best you can do? Uh, no. Uh, oh! Got a new potion. Nice, 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 nice. Got a new potion. 
Bullshit. The fuck up, okay? What the fuck up? He stunned me right then. Wait a minute. Something looks odd to me. Wait, they both take the same amount of damage. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Blocked. I can block his attacks, lol. Ah, I dodged. Okay. No! It was the lightning resistance! Oh, I walked right into it! Fuck, man. Don't worry, my grandma almost died to Lagan too. Okay, bro. Fuck it off. This is bullshit. Like, listen, like, the only thing that could have killed me was the lightning beam. Can I keep playing? I wanna do the boss. It's always cringe to watch content creators who are bad at games for the sake of creating content because it looks so fake. You are authentic and it seems genuine. Genuine. What is your secret? Shut up, bitch. Fuck you, Inukai. Fucking asshole. What do you mean zero DPS? I think my damage is really good. I wanna see you try your own build. I'm pretty sure you just follow the guide. Uh, let me just follow this guide. Oh, I need to spend this point here. Okay. Oh, look at my team. <laughs> I'm so good at the game. Yeah, this thing. It's so easy, man. 60 poisons, holy shit, you see that? Well, what is that? Lol, what happened? Lol? Is this phase 2? Oh, I see, this is waves. Lol? Maybe I just have to kill those. It's gotta be phase 2. Mm -hmm. Do I just go up? No, I can't. Okay. I wonder how many I have to kill. Or do I have to kill the tentacles? Being near those tentacles is really dangerous. There we go, good health potions. <laughs> Keep <t> <laughs> This is so funny. Bling, bling. I keep tanking everything. Oh, man. I'm so bad. <laughs> Again. Whoops. How long do I have to do this? Okay, I'm back. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 I got I tanked one of the I need to be careful now with potions. Accidentally tanked one of the beams again. Can I get another health potion please? Please, please one more health potion. Yeah, thank you. One more. Would be awesome. This is kind of cheating. I could just outrun this beam. In there, like literally you can't do anything. I could just stay down here. Lol. I feel like this is cheating, they should fix this. It's too easy. Look. I just go down and he can't touch me. Maybe they didn't think about this? Must have playtested this.
Another potion, right? Like this phase is basically un you can't lose in this phase. I, I, I'm unable to die in this phase. It's impossible. Oh, we got one. Okay, receive the blessing of Lagon. Wait, that's it? I've grown tired of this. Your skills entertained me. And for that, you shall live. Now, why have you come here? Will you give your blessing to the lands of Hyriot? His lands has, so he finally brought it out again. Yeah, I have a lance here too. Okay, you can give it a blessing as well if you want. Mm -hmm, give it, okay. You're an amusing little thing. I'm ready. Wait, that was it? What is the phase two you're talking about? There was, this was nothing. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, I died to nothing, burger. <laughs> I get lightning resistance now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Ultimately, I died to a stupid breath, which wasn't even difficult to dodge. I could have just, you know, stand in a corner and never get hit by this annoying ability. But yeah, it was my mistake. I tried the boss a second time. That worked. Anyways, um, yeah. Sadly, I died to Lagon, but I still wanted to try maps to see how they are. And you can see, oh, essentially, just normal zones that have a boss in them. Obviously, they have additional stats, like more damage from monsters, but also more loot. So it's like a trade-off that the enemies get more stuff, but you also get more stuff. And yeah, I found actually some cool items with high-level stats that are purple. You know, I was surprised how cool it felt. And I know now why some people skip, you know, the Lagon boss for a while before they, uh, you know, continue to do him. I guess he is a little bit difficult, but I think, uh, yeah not actually that difficult should have been able to do it on the first try anyways i'm gonna leave with some thoughts about the game i hope you enjoyed this if you did leave a like subscribe for more like this you know it's the biggest support you can give and thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time Peace. okay i mean for my first try at this game i got very far and i'm very happy about it i think i've seen maybe not all of the game but a lot of what it has to offer right and then the, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some more bosses. But I have to say, so far, I'm enjoying the experience a lot. Now, I probably don't have the best build, but at least the build that I made is tanky enough and does enough damage so that I can do most of the content without much of an issue. And I feel like I, I'm not just spamming one ability. I do more than just press right click i use my w ability and it all i use my q and e i use all of them actually and they all work hand in hand together which i find really cool and i wish poe i guess poe will always be poe but i hope that poe 2 is going to be exactly the same if not more leaning more into this because it makes for more engaging gameplay and also I think it's more fun to watch as well if, if the person uses more than one ability, you know, instead of just right clicking all the time and zooming, you actually have to do some real gameplay mechanics.